Look, um, Ben, thanks very much for agreeing to be part of this uh, YouTube teaching for doctors. So I know that three weeks ago you did something to your to your wrist, isn't it? Yeah. What happened? So I was biking, I was doing this drop, just seeing how much speed I need. Mm -hmm. Then my brakes, they just they don't really work. And then I sort of went off the drop. Had right. to make an effort, so my bars went in and out. Right. And yeah. Yeah. Bang. Yeah. So um, there's three weeks down the track, isn't it? You've been in a cast. We'll show some a picture of the X-ray for you. So this is a fracture, you might say it's fairly minor. It's a decent buckle, they look like there might be a, a slight cortical breach if you look on the, on the AP film. And Ben was really sore when he came in three weeks ago, so we decided to put him in a cast. These buckles, these, uh, where there's a breach, they can angulate a bit, so boisterous boys, maybe it's an idea to, where you think there might be a cortical breach, just, uh, just cast them up. Either way, come back at three weeks, get the cast off, and you can see, uh, especially on the lateral view, it's a little bit more dramatic, you know, the uh, angulation. Still, uh, these are relatively stable fractures, they do well. All we want to do today is just check, you know, how's the angulation? Has it increased? Is it the same? Sometimes even a bit better. And um, uh, maybe to some extent check the healing as well. Um, so I've just come out of the cast today and we generally use uh, scan to check the position and to some extent to check the healing uh, at three weeks for these sort of buckle uh, slash green stick type fractures. So Ben I'm just going to put this on and you know of course you examine uh, feel for tenderness and that and then um, ultrasound is just part of your normal examination as it should be for nearly every musculoskeletal injury and very easy to see a bone as we've done this so many times before skin uh, muscle layer. Um, just remember anything underneath a bone is uh, just reflection so we don't really need that in the picture and it's a nice idea to try and minimize the amount of dead space that you've got at the bottom of the picture no matter whether you're looking at the abdomen, looking at pregnancy, looking for a DVT, looking at a bone or a soft tissue just get rid of the excess uh, stuff out of the out of the scan because that makes um, that that's a kind of a waste of focus if you like so we get a clearer picture if we really really focus in there longitudinal view this the buckle there um, it's easy enough to see and you know you can see the um, you know the muscle the tendon sort of uh, layer over the top you can also see a little bit of new bone here you can see callus. I'll just zoom that up if you like so you can see. See? So you can see callus on a scan as well. And that's revolutionary really. You can sometimes see it earlier than you can on an x-ray. But in our fracture clinic now we don't worry about re-x-raying these. I know many fracture clinics wouldn't re-x-ray buckles anyway. Uh, sometimes for a minor buckle you wouldn't even need to see them back in the clinic just because Sam had a bit of a decent one and so Ben had a decent one and you had a cast so you know since you're here it gives us a chance to show Ben oh look this the healing bone we can see the position we'll zoom back out again and we can look from th when you're looking at a radius you can see from three angles you obviously can't look from the ulnar side but we can look dorsally again we see that sort of bulge there see the position is fine we can look from the radial side there it is there and we can look from the volar side and again we can run there's the bone we can run the scan across and that's you know just kind of a smooth sort of bulge there so that's all healed in a fine position there's the growth plate there and if you're not sure, is that, a, is that at a funny angle or not, or is that okay? Well, let's just have a quick look, Ben, at your other arm. Just, do you mind? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. So this is the volar surface. You can see normally it's a nice sort of smooth line there, relatively straight, and then flares up at the metaphysis just at the growth plate, to the growth plate, compared with the other one, where kind of similar but it's a little bit angulated up and there's a bulge there just leading into the metaphysis. So that, that basically shows us good position, 
good healing. We can see callus. We don't need to worry about x-rays. And we can just uh, manage things for Ben uh, with advice from here on. Thanks, Ben. Thank you.